Here we are at part three of my video walkthrough for Mega Man 7. This time we're gonna go take on Cloud Man. Oh come on, where's your big sword? Oh wait, wrong cloud. <laughs> Yay, this is our arrow air level of sorts. Stuff coming out from the ground, birds across the top of the ceiling. Now these little bird things will come at you until you blow one of them up, and then the rest of them will fly off, so how they act there. <clears throat> oh boy, clouds covering up the platforms. Yeah, that little robot thing, when you shoot him, he'll make it start raining, and he'll go away. Um, I don't know if there's actually any benefit to making it start rain, but I did it anyway. And this other one here, we can't do anything with. But later, when we have a different weapon, if you attack this second robot, you can make it start snowing which will come in handy. But there's not much we can do about it now. Probably shouldn't have made the first one rain. Yeah, those things will shoot lightning if it's raining. They won't shoot lightning otherwise. Some kind of effect like that. But that's alright. We just need to work our way through the level here. It'll stop raining eventually. At least it's not like Toad Man's rain that, like, jeez, pushes you back or whatnot. But one thing I do like is our little platform clouds here are black. They're like storm clouds if it's raining, but they're like white, just regular clouds if it's not. So maybe that's why I made it rain, because I like the black clouds better. Ha 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 Okay. This part is real fun. We can't see the ground unless we're standing right next to it. Yeah, those things are just like the uh, bird things that were in Mega Man 2, so. Yeah, there's kind of a platform up above us, but I'm not going to worry about that till later. Alright. It's a proto robot. If we head to the right here, we got some life. Don't need it. Ah, oh, boo, the proto-robot came back. Fortunately, he's not much smarter than any of the rest of them. Alright, let's see what's up this nifty little ladder. There's... oh. It's Proto-Man! Awesome! What's up, bro? Little information, all right. Weapons can be used to discover hidden areas. Try using flame weapon in the woods. Okay, thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, these little bolts, that's what those things are. Um, it's kind of like the currency in this game. There's like, Auto has a part shop, and uh, we can spend bolts to buy things. Like extra one-ups, or energy tanks, or weapon tanks, or nifty little things like that. So, I will, uh, I will go over the good bolts. And uh, a lot of the more expensive stuff you can buy from the shop, you can actually just find if you know where to look. So, uh... I'll cover all the item hunting here later when I have the ability to do so a little better. But might as well collect the bolts that we run across. Alright, boss time. Well, this guy is lightning based, as a storm cloud should be. And he is weak to the danger wrap. If you notice he's floating around, you know, we just gotta dodge his lightning here and then encase him in a bubble. It will explode and damage him, and when he hits the ground he also takes damage, so. Open does really good damage to him. Oh, no, he doesn't take damage when he hits the ground. But yeah, this is also the first Mega Man that has an X-style boss fighting system. Where whenever you hit a boss with their weakness, they will always counterattack with exactly the same attack. Making the boss fight somewhat repetitive because you just have to learn how to dodge one attack. Alright, one more hit and you're going down. Woot! We defeated Cloud Man! Mm -hmm. 
Give me the power! The Thunderbolt fires out electrically charged spheres, right? Yes, and it can also be used to power some electronic machines. Oh! 